Today I want to talk a little bit about hammock camping. I'm a big fan of hammock camping. It's, I mean, it's lightweight, it's quick and easy to set up. You don't have to worry what the ground is like, whether it's rocky, covered in limbs. Uh, you just need a tree or two, and boom, you got yourself a shelter for the evening. So, there is a downfall to hammock camping, and that's in the fall, winter, early spring. It gets cold in a hammock. You know, you have the air flowing underneath. Uh, it's just like how you see the signs on the road that tell you that the bridge freezes before the road surface. You know, that air going underneath really cools you down and can make for a very uncomfortable night. There are a few things you can do about that. Basically, you just need uh, a cushion between you and the air. So today what I'm going to talk about is something I made from a mummy sleeping bag. Here's what it is. I found it at Walmart. It was on clearance. I only paid, I think, 20 or $30 for it. So it was, uh, really uh, worked out well for what I want to do with this. So the idea here is that I will put the hammock in the sleeping bag, and then I'll be able to crawl inside of the sleeping bag, and it will still have a layer of the hammock, or sorry, a layer of the sleeping bag that will be under the hammock, and that'll block the air from getting on me. So what I did, was I took the end by the feet and basically I just cut it open. I cut a hole into it. Now once I cut a hole into it, I had to sew it back up. Uh, and this isn't, you know, it's not like uh, cotton cloth or anything like that. It's a synthetic fiber. So I needed to, I couldn't just sew it. So what I did was I got some hemming tape and I put the hemming tape, I sewed it uh, around the hole on both sides, uh, all over, even in the center of it. And then what I did, was because, you know, I might be out sometime and I might want to actually just use this as a sleeping bag and not use it with my hammock. So I sewed uh, some Velcro in here too. So now if I'm not using it on my hammock, I can seal it up. And even when it is, when the hammock's through it, I can seal up the ends that aren't um, being covered up by the hammock. And then I just, now this is important too. You're gonna have to do the same thing up here at the top. So what I did, this is, uh, Inside you can see this is the opening where your face goes for the mummy bag and I um, Just cut a small hole in the top of this also and then you can see now this bag Came with two straps already sewn in the bottom here. What I did was I got some short pieces of shock cord uh, And I'll show you when I put this on the hammock and what it does is it helps keep um, The bag from sliding down on the hammock whenever you get in it and whenever you're sleeping uh, the top part didn't have any tabs, but I just got some fabric, just um, I sewed some tabs, one on each side, and then I just put the shock cord through that. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Basically, I'm just going to take the end of the hammock I'm going to feed it through the sleeping bag. You can see the sleeping bag just hangs on it. And I'm going to put my carabiner back at the top. And then what I do with the shock cord is I put that on the carabiner. So what that does is it keeps this sleeping bag from sliding too far down whenever I'm sleeping in. Same thing on the other side. Now you can see I'm not through the hole that I cut in it. I'm just through the face of the uh, mummy bag and I don't want that because it will slide down on me and I won't uh, have any protection on the back of my head. So we're just going to come over here, unhook the carabiner on this side, slide it through the hole, hook it back up. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the shock cord on the tabs that I have and I'm just going to slide them over the carabiner. Now you can adjust this cord for however long that you need. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to seal the Velcro around it. That's going to probably come off a little bit uh, whenever I crawl into this. But you can always tighten it up once you're in it. And then just unzip my sleeping bag. Uh, now I'm going to take my knife off because I don't want to uh, rip a hole in the hammock or the sleeping bag.
and basically I would take my boots off. I don't want to get in there with my boots. Uh, usually I'll have a ground cloth uh, down here and I put my boots on at night and then I don't have to stand on the ground. So I opened up the sleeping bag. I just get in my hammock just like I normally would. Just need to spread it out as I'm getting in. Once I'm in, situated, I can just reach down, just zip my sleeping bag up, crawl down inside it, and you can see, uh, since I actually put uh, a hole in the top part of the mummy bag, I still have that part of the mummy bag to cover up on my face. This bag has a zipper on the inside, so once I get in, I just zip it right up. In the morning when I'm done, I just unzip it, just crawl right out. Then if we're staying, you know, more than one day, I can zip this back up and I can just leave it hang. Or if you go out and uh, get yourself uh, a larger stuff sack, uh, now I don't really even have to take this sleeping bag off of the hammock. They both fit in here. So the only thing I need to do is unhook my one side here of the hammock. With the sleeping bag still hooked on, I just start stuffing it right down here into my compression bag. Get it over here to the other side. Same thing, just unhook it, stuff it right down into my compression bag, and there it is. It's sealed all up. It's all fit right in one bag. Now when I'm ready to get it back out, boom, everything's all ready together. I hook my straps up on the tree, put my carabiner on, and I can just deploy this right out of the bag. None of, no parts of it ever touched the ground, and there you go. Everything's uh, all ready together and it's all ready to get in. Didn't take hardly any time at all. Next, I would just put my ridge line up, put my tarp over top, and boom, I'd be set. So, there you go. Uh, it's just uh, one way that you could uh, use your hammock in the wintertime when it starts to get cooler out. Uh, one thing you'll notice I wanted to mention was you know, I could use this sleeping bag, just get in it and lay in the hammock. But the problem is, once I lay on the sleeping bag, I'm compressing it. And once I compress it, then it doesn't insulate me as well. So that's what this does. Once I'm in it, this bottom part of the sleeping bag is actually hanging down below me and I'm not touching on it. And what you can do is you can adjust the length of your shock cord on either end to uh, make sure that that is still hanging below you and that your weight isn't pressing down on the sleeping bag. So there you go. Um, you can see, uh, even with the sleeping bag on, I could still use this as a temporary seat and put my boots back on here. Doesn't cause any problems, you know, with that sleeping bag being on there or to the hammock. There you go. Uh, this is a uh, Grand Trunk ultralight hammock. Uh, it cost me $20. Like I said, the sleeping bag, I did get it on clearance, but it was only $20 or $30. So along with a, you know, um, even a $10 tarp on top of this, I have a nice sleep system for less than $50. And it'll last me, you know, all year long. If it's getting into wintertime and it's getting even colder, what I can do is I can bring a wool blanket with me, or I can bring another sleeping bag and get inside of that in here, but this sleeping bag will still work as the underquilt underneath of my hammock. So, okay, enjoy camping, and I'll uh, see you next time.